What's up, everyone? Hope you are having a great week so far. Terra Luna Classic, okay? It has been all the hype and all the buzz for the last uh, probably couple months or so. And even despite the recent pullback, the community is rallying super hard. And there's a number that we're going to talk about today that's 466 million, okay? I want to dive into this, but before I do, if you are new to the channel or haven't already, uh, make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell. Again, you get notified anytime content is live here on my channel. So we've talked about Luna Classic uh, over the last you know, several days, and I try to make a daily video on it because I find it interesting, fascinating how the community is really rallying together to bring you know, Terra Luna Classic back from the ashes. So this is obviously really cool stuff. So one of the things that they're implementing because the supply got so high, sitting at, I believe, six, six point something trillion right now, is this burn protocol. OK, which is supposed to go live It was supposed to actually be today, but I think it's going to be tomorrow now based on some of the information I'm seeing. But there is a huge rally behind this, not just from the community itself, but from exchanges. OK, so MEXC, for example, is going to be one of the exchanges that uh, is implementing this burn protocol. And this 1.2 percent burn is obviously going to help, you know, destroy a bunch of that supply. So. In anticipation of this, they actually launched an early burn event, okay? And what they did was they actually ended up burning over 466 million Luna Classic or Terra Classic, okay? And uh, the number came out to 466,330,428.18 in, uh, in case you were wondering, okay? And at the current exchange rate, so this isn't even, you know, at the height, obviously, it was worth $138,000, okay, 138 and a half. <clears throat> now, you may say, oh, you know, that's not very much. Well, I mean, $138,000 is still $138,000, guys, okay? And you got to keep in mind, too, over this time that these exchanges were taking taking place, this uh, burn protocol that they were running was actually only 0.2% fee. Now, keep in mind, okay, this burn tax that will be implemented, not just on MEXC, but other exchanges that are that are uh, supporting it and approving it, okay, is going to be 1.2%. So it's actually going to be, what, six times larger than this? So for example, that amount that you saw right there is almost a, almost a million dollars would have been burned out of uh, circulation, okay? And why this is important here, and I'll, I'll just put up this chart just to show you what was happening daily. Uh, on MEXC as far as burns go. So why this is important is, you know, MEXC isn't necessarily the largest exchange, okay? It's it's sizable exchange, but there are exchanges that have tons more volume, okay, that have the opportunity to burn even more. And why this is important, again, is, you know, right now supply is the biggest thing holding uh, Luna Classic back, okay? There is a huge uh, opportunity for, you know, it to recover substantially, and hit some of these crazy prices that, you know, I don't want to necessarily say where it was at before because we know it was over $100 a coin, right? I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. But is a dollar within the realm of possibility? I I would think so. I mean, this burn tax that's going to be implemented has a chance to burn up supply very, very fast. And the community, again, has been rallying behind it. Exchanges are rallying behind it. So there's very cool stuff obviously happening. Now we did see obviously this huge ramp up as far as uh you know the burns happening and that happened you know obviously was part of the supply you know or uh, supply part of the volume as the volume was skyrocketing so was the burns obviously right now we've gotten to this point obviously where where uh, volume has kind of you know tempered itself it's kind of you know toned down a little bit that has to do obviously with the the market dropping, the anticipation of this Fed meeting, which is happening today and tomorrow. So, you know, everybody's obviously just kind of holding their breath. So this is kind of a perfect time for this to to end, at least as of right now. You know, obviously it's ending right now because the new burn is going to be implemented. OK, but very cool stuff to see. Obviously, you know, four hundred and sixty six million Luna is not a small number. OK, so I'm very excited, obviously, for the things to come. Uh, I watch. Luna Classic very, very closely. I'd love to see, um, you know, all the stuff that's going to be coming. I'm really interested to see. And then just in case you guys were wondering, I'm, I'm excited to see, obviously, how how this turns out. But the 1.2% tax says we'll go live on September 21st, so tomorrow, or at a block height of 9,475,200. So I'm not sure what the current block height is, but 
yeah, that's, that's when it's going live, just so you guys know. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you took away something positive. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight as to what's going on in uh, Terra Classic's community right now. I'm never sure whether to call it Luna Classic, Terra Classic, you know, make sure you guys go ahead, comment, comment below. Let me know just so I can, you know, keep that in mind for future videos. Make sure I do it right. So hope you guys enjoyed it again. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell. Again, you'll get notified anytime content is live here on my channel. Uh, appreciate you guys stopping out, taking time out of your day and supporting the channel really means a lot to me. Uh, hope to see you guys in the next one and yeah, have a great rest of your day. Take care.